Welcome to another episode of Conversations with Clarissa from the Prayer Closet. Y'all, last week I had the roughest week. <laughs> like, I started questioning what I was doing, if everything that I was doing was right, if I was doing things the way that God has told me to do them. I was feeling super overwhelmed and just distressed. I just felt like I was over everything. Like, and I felt like I was hanging on by a little thin, thin thread. I missed church that week. And I didn't get to go to Bible study because Kayla's birthday was that week. And it was just so many things going on. And <clears throat> I just felt like everything was just happening at one time. And I, I had to go to the hospital. I had kidney stones. Drink your God. You guys, make sure you drink your water. Make sure you drink your water. Don't get kidney stones. They are terrible. <laughs> but I remember just feeling super overwhelmed and... We had to go out of town and we came back into town and it was the Sunday. I remember going to Sean and telling him, I need to go to church today. And because the plan was not to go to church that day. And I told him I need to go to church. And he was like, oh, let's just try to relax. Let's clean up before the kids get home and all this stuff. And I was like, I really need to go to church because I'm starting to feel disconnected from God. And even though I get in my word daily, but those last three days, I didn't get a chance to really do my deep dive because we were out of town and we had things going on. I had to get the kids to all the different places. Like, I was feeling disconnected. Going through that made me realize, like, how important it is to get my daily bread from God, but to spend really good time with him. Not just something to check off a list, but, like, good in-depth quality time like that's the best way I could describe it is quality time with God it is so important because I didn't get to do it for three days like my good quality time and I felt like my whole world was all over the place and it was terrible and I I had to get back in alignment so I we went to church Sean was like, okay, I see you really are serious about this. So we went to church that day, brought the kids to church. And he, I was telling him, I felt like something was trying to suffocate me. Like I was just feeling like something was just trying to grab a hold of me. And he prayed over me and we went to church and it just so happened. <laughs> the pastor was preaching about spending time with God. <laughs> and even if it's just sitting in silence that you needed to spend time with God um, and how how important it is to because we're his temple and how important it is to be with God and I was literally starting to cry because I was like oh, I needed this I needed this and so after we went to church I came home and I sat in my prayer closet and I just I didn't say anything I just sat in here because this is where I feel the most peace and this is where I feel the most intimate time with God and I just sat and just sat with him in the quiet and enjoyed it and all this to say make sure that you spend some time with God every day he is our source and our resource like we need God in everything and when you take him out of it it can literally <laughs> mess up a whole week so make sure you stay connected get in your word remind yourself of who he says you are stay rooted and grounded in him make sure you spend that quality time with God every single day and however that looks to you it might be taking walks it might be sitting in the car listening to worship music however that time looks for you whatever you want to do spend that time with God be with him enjoy his presence and if you need to just sit and be still with him people don't understand the power of just sometimes just being present and that's what you need to do with Jesus. Just be present with him. So, or let him be present with you, rather. Um, 
but yeah thank you that's all i have for conversations with clarissa and i hope you all have a good week bye